I made Portugal debut with Cristiano Ronaldo, but retired at 25 for new career and Jose Mourinho did not recognize me. Dear friends, welcome to my channel, I am Maya. Hope your day is so well. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. If football was an aeroplane, Cristiano Ronaldo would be among a handful of legends allowed to sit in first class. On February 24, 2001, the Portuguese footballers found themselves side by side on the same metaphorical flight. It was an under-15 match for Portugal against South Africa. Costinha, a young midfielder from Vitoria, was representing his country for the first time. So it was Madeira's national treasure Ronaldo and a goal in the 2-1 victory was a sign of things to come. But besides equally chiseled physiques in their late 30s, that is where the similarities end. Ronaldo would go on to become Portugal's greatest ever player and one of the best ever to play the game. Even at 39, the former Real Madrid and Manchester United sensation still captains his country and continues to break records. Advertisement cost in huh? Meanwhile, quit football at the age of 25 and launched a dream career in aviation. 39 himself, the former midfielder is a passionate flight attendant, and Jose Moreno has been among his passengers. Costana told Mays Football in October, Football in the lower divisions is very physical. It started to bring me problems. I was constantly injured. When I saw that I was no longer going to reach a high level, that I was unable to do so, I made the conscious decision to leave. Many let themselves be dragged along too late, you even had legitimacy for that, to believe, because I had a very promising start. But when I realized that it wasn't going to be as good as I thought, I focused on other solutions. Costana failed to break into Vittoria's first team, making only two senior appearances, although he was part of the squad, which won the Portuguese Cup in 2005. He made 13 international appearances for Portugal's various youth teams, working his way up to the under-20s, but quickly fell into the country's lower leagues at club level. After stints at Rio Maior, Unio Montemor, Juventude de Vora, Operario Lago, and a season in the fourth division of Spain, Costana called it quits in 2011. He added, I started working here for another insurance company for four years in the field of travel assistance. In the meantime, Marco Lenka, also a former player, challenged me to something that had always piqued my interest aviation. I love to travel, discover contrasting realities like Sao Tome and Princip or New York, where I was recently, and then return to our Portugal. It is a career that excites me, although I was away from the company for two years before returning permanently. Aviation isn't Costina's only professional passion. He is also a real estate enthusiast and briefly switched paths during the pandemic. He continued, I had occasional contracts, which used to become permanent. It was like that for ages. But for the first time at the time of COVID-19, that did not happen. My contract ended and I left. It was at that time that I discovered real estate, which was a breath of fresh air. I always liked dealing with people. I did it for two years and will continue to do it from time to time, but I never stopped missing aviation. So when they invited me back, now joining the ranks, I immediately said yes. Despite previously sharing the same stage as Ronaldo, Costana admits that he is barely recognized these days. He said, Look, just a couple of weeks ago I brought Mario Rue from Italy to Portugal when he was called up to the national team. And before COVID I brought Jose Moreno, who is even from my area. But I'm no longer recognized as I used to be in the early years and I'm reserved in that respect. I never say I was a football player. Reflecting on his football career, Costinha remains filled with pride over that fated day he shared with Ronaldo. And rather than considering himself a failed footballer, the former midfielder feels like a lucky man. He said, I think that the most emblematic moment of his career was really the first game for the national team. In the under 15 S, even today, I get goosebumps when I hear the anthem. Of course, it becomes even more emblematic because Cristiano Ronaldo also made his debut that day, 
although we were far from knowing how far he would go. At the time, he was a much more virtuous player and was already on a much higher level than the others. He added deep down, I feel privileged. I had the opportunity to play football, and we have to be aware that it is not for everyone. It is not easy to make a career in football. I prefer to see the glass half full. Nowadays, I am privileged, lucky, because I have another dream profession. One day, Ronaldo will have to come to terms with life beyond professional football. The five-time Ballon d'Or winner is still scoring for fun in the Saudi Pro League, bagging 55 goals in 56 games since joining Al Nasser in 2023. His continued presence on the international stage was questioned during a forgettable Euro 2024. Ex-Portugal boss Fernando Santos sparked a media storm by dropping Ronaldo at the 2022 World Cup, but current manager Roberto Martinez was deeply criticized for not doing the same in Germany. Ronaldo ended the tournament with no goals from 23 shots, the most attempts of any player in the competition at the time of Portugal's quarter-final exit. The football icon is yet to give any indication about when he will retire from the international or domestic game. Even on his recent holiday, Ronaldo was ramping up his physical preparations for the new Saudi Pro League season, which begins on August 11. A conversation with his old teammate Kostinha may persuade him that life on the other side is not all that bad. I basically hated you as a kid when Paolo Dybala opened up on telling Cristiano Ronaldo about Lionel Messi admiration. Paolo Dybala claimed he once told Cristiano Ronaldo that he was hated in Argentina because of Lionel Messi. The Argentine admitted that he also did not like the Portuguese star while growing up. The duo played together at Juventus between 2018 and 2021 winning two Serie titles among other honors. Dybala stated he got close to Ronaldo after the Real Madrid legend moved to the Italian Giants. He didn't like Ronaldo until then as he was on his compatriot Messi's side and claimed he told the Al Nasser superstar the same during their time together at Juventus. Paolo Dybala played 93 matches with Cristiano Ronaldo, but the duo combined for just 12 goals. Meanwhile, he has played 18 matches with Messi, managing just one joint goal contribution. When agent claimed Paolo Dybala had no off-field issues with Cristiano Ronaldo, Paolo Dybala's brother and agent Gustavo spoke to Radio Impact Cordoba in 2019 and stated there were no off-field issues between the Argentine and Cristiano Ronaldo. Things were not good when they played together as the two weren't in sync and failed to understand each other. Paolo Dybala moved to AS Roma after leaving Juventus in 2022, one year after Cristiano Ronaldo left the old lady for Manchester United 